So science for science sake is a truly wonderful thing, but what motivates me is turning that beauty into something useful. Uh, and that's really what's been driving me for the last 30 years. The central theme of Andrew Wilkes life's work is his groundbreaking discovery in 1989 while at the Ludwig Institute for Cancer Research of more than a dozen new cell signaling enzymes, including the Jack family of tyrosine kinase. His journey to explore their biology is a chronicle of how curiosity-driven research can spark completely new avenues towards the development of important new therapies. Andrew was smitten by the notion that you could take an academic discovery, make a business out of it, and then provide a therapeutic for people. I'm quite stubborn in many respects, and, and I was going to make this work one way or another. However it happened, these discoveries were going to get translated. After leading his laboratory towards a greater understanding of the role these enzymes play in how immune system cells communicate, he then, in 1996, took the courageous step of leaving his well-funded, high-profile academic career to found the biotech company Cytopia and capitalise on his discovery. Andrew was a fantastic scientist, you know, one of, the, one of the brightest guys I've ever met working in a lab. And to see him take that innovation, imagination, resilience and turn it into something commercial, something entrepreneurial, has been really special. I still think of myself as a scientist when I on the uh, arrivals form as I come into Australia, when it says occupation, I put the word scientist in there. So I don't think of myself as a businessman or an, as an entrepreneur. At Cytopia, Wilkes and his team created a series of new compounds that acted as potent inhibitors of two particular members of the Jack family, Jack1 and Jack2. One of these, CYT387, now commercially known as momolotinib, shows promise for the treatment of idiopathic myelofibrosis and other blood disorders. Cytopia was acquired by YM Biosciences in 2010, and the rights to momolotinib were ultimately purchased in 2013 by Gilead Sciences for US $512 million. Phase three trials have recently been completed, and FDA approval for momolotinib is eagerly anticipated. There is no other thrill quite like starting a new enterprise a blank sheet of paper and drawing the business plan, drawing the scientific plan, raising the funds, being at risk, being at peril. These are all exciting times. The excitement of driving the Jack project from discovery, through deep exploration of its role, to its ultimate commercialization, clearly lit a fuse within Wilkes that has led him to establish a further 11 biotech companies over the last 10 years. With most of his activities firmly grounded here in Australia, Alongside his partners and co-founders, he has established companies with operations in China, the USA and Europe. In Australia, it's unusual for research scientists to make an initial discovery and then really take responsibility for translating. He built the field, the Jack Kinase field, then he built the inhibitors and he saw some of those inhibitors into preclinical and clinical studies. So, and he did it in Australia where the amount of money is vanishingly small. You've really got to use your science and have an impact. And every scientist should do that. It's just that I was perhaps more extreme in my commitment to doing that than, uh, than many other scientists. And I hope, uh, I hope there are more people who, who are prepared to do that. There are few examples of Australian scientists who have stepped outside the security of the academic environment to focus solely on translating their basic research into a drug that can benefit humankind. With over 100 academic publications and nearly 70 patents, Andrew Wilkes has shown the way forward for a generation of academics to take the same fulfilling journey. His fundamental research and the resulting new therapeutic drugs he and his team have developed promise to profoundly impact the lives of hundreds of thousands of patients worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's Clooney's Ross Entrepreneur of the Year Award winner, Professor Andrew Wilkes.